Well, folks, I'm back. Well, you may be thinking to yourself, Tyler, you left? I actually did leave for a while. I left for six weeks. I was a, uh, a summer camp counselor for middle school guys at a Christian summer camp called Pine Cove, where I went and I grew up going to my whole life. And so it was an awesome time for me just to kind of like unplug from the whole YouTube world and just be a kid again and be a counselor. So I am back home again, reunited with Pearl, my beautiful bass boat. And uh, today's gonna be kind of an errand day. So I've got to drop off my truck to do some work. Uh, I got to edit several videos for you guys because I'm way behind on content. And then I'm gonna try something very, very cool uh, some super deep fishing in a marina. So uh, let's get started. It does feel good though to be reunited with my power poles and of course Pearl and Bass Boat. Now if you guys are not longtime followers of the Tyler's Real Fishing channel, this is Pearl. She's a Skeeter ZX202 and uh, my favorite boat of all time. Maybe she'll be replaced one day by a new Pearl, but for now I've got her and I love her. Now when I was gone, my dad did some work to uh, his kayak kind of as preparation to see if it could, it could work for mine and we've always complained because we don't want to buy an expensive kayak um, about the seats on regular kayaks being so low and I always I'm a, I mean I'm a stand-up fisherman I stand up in a boat to fish and so like I've always wondered how can we put a custom you know high high raised seat on our Bass Pro Shops kayak so my dad did it here it's called the everywhere chair I guess it's just a normal like seat back chair and he made these cool brackets for it that kind of fit right to the side of the kayak in the back there get the lighting up there are the brackets back there so he did some cool work to the kayak here he also put in uh, some more straps for things and then made some of those cool rolly deals to roll the kayak down to the lake so uh, let's see oh my goodness almost stripped see how it works oh let's go I can kayak fish in this, yeah, yeah. I think one of the next projects in the next few days will have to be uh, kind of revamping my kayak and making it a uh, official fishing kayak. But let's get this thing fixed. Such a beautiful lake, Lake Travis. I miss this place, that's for sure. Ooh, sailboat. So one thing that is true about Texas here in the summer is that it is hot. I mean, it only says it's 91 outside, but it truly feels like it's about 96, possibly 100 with the humidity. So I hope I don't have to be outside too much today. I think the fishing I'm gonna do is going to be in the evening time, but we're gonna drop off my truck to get it inspected, to get my tires rotated, oil change, all that kind of stuff before I head off and do a lot of traveling with my truck uh, and other vehicles this summer. So let's go to the place to get the truck done the things. See ya. Uh... So you're probably wondering what just happened. So basically I drove to uh, the Texaco, which is our like local uh, car repair uh, gas station spot. And they were like, hey, do you wanna drive home and then we can like uh, drive your truck back from there. So drove home and now the guy took the truck back. So hopefully it'll be a few hours, but it's time to hop on the editing grind. I think I have to do two or three videos today. So let's get started. All right, so my mom is here. They said the vehicle is done. It's only been like two hours. So let's see if they fixed it. Thank you, mother. So I guess they didn't have to do much to it because two hours later I have my car back. So I think it was just oil change, rotate tires, that kind of thing. But uh, let's get back home and show you guys what I've edited so far. All right, so also comment below if you think that I should level my truck. I just think it doesn't quite look as cool as it could be. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money, but I think I need to put two inches on the front or so just to make it look, you know, a little bit cooler. Cool doesn't always matter, but sometimes it does. Oh, oh. there we go. All right, so I have been editing, uh, if you guys haven't seen it, it is the uh, Lake Athens video where I catch some schooling fish with Landon. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, it'll be probably up here in this corner somewhere, but just been making some cool intros for it. Feels good to be back on the grind again from camp using those, uh, whoops. Just getting back on the editing grind. It has been too long. All right, so the video is done. Just put it out on the YouTube. It was my uh, fishing with Landon video on Lake Athens, but now I think it's time for us to uh, rig up some rods here in the garage for my fishing expedition. So let's, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to be vertically jigging today. So I got this 
I don't know, it's like a five and a half foot micro rod, super, super uh, flexible as you can see there. Which is a small spinning reel, and I think this is like four or six pound fluorocarbon. And so I've got to figure out a bait that I can jig in the summertime in Texas to get these fish to bite. So I think I'm either go with a tiny little, uh, little crappie jig like this, or possibly a small swim bait. So let's look around for those. All right, well, I found my box of uh, tiny little grub pieces, so that's good. And I also found various other uh, vertical jigging things. I found some Kitex with some jig heads. I got two more packages of Kitex here. I found this from my Lucky Tackle box. It was a uh, Lunker Hunt hatch spin. It's a tiny little jigging spoon with a, uh, I don't know what this is, a, a, some kind of Colorado blade, I think. I might need a different rod for this one, but we'll see. And then, of course, the classic Zoom Gray Grubs. So all of these should work for my uh, for vertical jigging. So uh, let's get to the lake. All right, so my one goal from this moment forward is to not get kicked off. This is a marina that I have gotten kicked off before, but uh, I think they know who I am by now. I think they know that I make uh, some fishing videos for you folks at home, and so I hope that they will, uh, they will be okay with me fishing. So, so the point here is to get some deep fish that I'm gonna kind of vertically jig for on a thing called the Aquaview. So the Aquaview is a super cool system, especially for you guys that ice fish up north, uh, because this is a camera system that allows you to basically drop the camera super deep and gives you a live action view on the screen of the Aquaview on what your camera is seeing, which basically allows you to catch fish like directly in front of the camera. So I hooked up with these guys and I said, hey, send me one of these. I'll try to make some videos with it in Texas. Usually not the place to use an Aquaview, but they said, go for it. So we're gonna try to drop it down here today and try to see if we can find some deep suspended fish in this clear Texas lake. So let's open it up. And it doesn't have that many uh, pieces to it. It basically just has kind of a, a bottom block area with the screen that flips up just like that. And then this here is the actual camera that you put down in the water itself with a waterproof cable that's very, very long. So let's get this in the water. I'm filming with the Aquaview camera. I'm pointing straight into it. As you can see, I have the Sony filming the screen here. Where is it at? There's the screen. It's all the way zoomed in. So let's take this thing down in the water. All right, so basically what I tried to do is I tried to walk it along the side of the marina here and try to see if I could see anything on the, sh on the bottom here. And I saw plenty of cool stuff. The screen looks awesome. But today I'm just going to have to call it a day on this. It is, uh, oh, first of all, it's getting windy. Early, it is much too difficult right now to try to find fish on the bottom of Lake Travis in a cove because they're just not there right now. They're off on the main lake doing what they do in the summertime, schooling up. They're not out here. So I'm going to have to save this for a different time of the year. All right, guys, so to uh, attempt to salvage this vlog, I'm going to do something which I've wanted to do for a long time. And now that I have my drone back, it is finally feasible. It is the 3rd of July here in Austin. We have fireworks on both the 3rd and 4th of July. And so I'm putting on my LTB USA flag shirt and I'm gonna fly my drone over some fireworks. So I'm guessing that's what the thumbnail of this video is. Uh, hopefully I don't crash my drone. You'll see if I do, but uh, I just crashed it about a month and a half ago. So we're hoping I don't crash it once again, but uh, since fishing was bad, we're going to salvage the day by just going out, me and my mom and my dad on the boat, good old Pearl, and uh, hopefully not crash our drone. So we'll see you on the road. Everybody, it's a bit windier than I expected it to be, but uh, I think my Phantom 4 will be okay. Taking off and landing will be a bit of a uh, challenge, but good to be back on the lake. Feels good, and uh, hopefully fireworks start soon. Come on, you old man. There we go. It's like a monkey. Monkey see, monkey do. All right, so we've made it to the spot. We're just kind of having some doubts. I, I Google searched if flying drones over fireworks is legal. First off, I'm, I'm not uh, registered by the FAA to fly a drone. I don't think any, any YouTubers are. Um, and so that could be an issue. There's, we see five cop boats out here. And then I'm looking online. Um, I can't find anything that says it's illegal. Um, but if you fly in a safety zone, that's illegal. So I don't know. 
So I read a little bit farther in this article and it says uh, that most major fireworks demonstrations have a Coast Guard established safety zone. Um, it's an important point for operators who are thinking about getting drone footage as the punishment for violating a Coast Guard safety zone is $40,000 fine and is a class D felony punishable by at least five but no more than 10 years in prison. So it's not looking like it's gonna happen tonight. Um, I, I really wanna do it, but I don't wanna pay $40,000 for this footage. So uh, I think we're gonna pass. We might look around for a little bit longer to see if it's legal, but uh, if not, that's okay, you know? Fourth of July, America's still free. I just can't fly my drone, you know? Well, in the effort to uh, avoid getting a misdemeanor, felony, fine, whatever you wanted to call it, we decided to head home. Uh, we'll watch the 4th of July fireworks tomorrow. Who knows, we might find somebody's private show that doesn't have six cop boats. But, um, folks at home, you know, as a YouTuber, we are tempted a lot of the times to break the rules, whether that's uh, trespass and fish someone's pond that doesn't belong to us, or break, you know, the government's rules about drones. And, you know, most of the time, no one's ever gonna find out, but in certain circumstances, um, it's just best to follow the rules. God does call us to uh, follow the rules of the government, um, even if they're wacky sometimes. But today we avoided a fine and uh, we had a pretty fun day. So if you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I know it's been a while since I posted videos, but I am back on the grind. So we'll see you guys in the next episode of Tyler's Real Fishing.